he has the legs and Noel Hickey, and that's been very powerful for Galway so far. Three points from Cyril Donnan, and they're going very, very well. Galway have scored two goals and 11 points. Two goals and seven of that total is coming from play. It's Richie Hogan, lovely balanced hurler, had the vision to see Richie Power on the 45-metre line, and he raises Kilkenny's second white flag of the afternoon. It's their second point. The first after 19 and a half minutes, their second after over half an hour, almost yep. 31 minutes. Yeah, but Richie Power is playing out centre forward now. Uh, Henry Shefflin inside, full forward, and Richie Hogan on the left, and uh, Aidan Fogarty is playing out around the middle of the field to try and counter uh, Damien Hayes. So that leaves Kilkenny with only five forwards, and Johnny Cohn, as you remarked earlier, Marty is really cleaning up the brakes. Connor Cooney unable to control that slither skipping off the surface. That mist rain seems to have disappeared temporarily at least. Still very cloudy overhead. Tommy Walsh going to take this sideline ball into the centre. Again, it's it's almost like a repeat of the last time. Joe Canning with a beautiful stroke of the ball. Sends it between the posts. It is fantastic. What a score by Joe Canning. It's the second time. It's almost as if we were looking at the video in replay. Well, Martin, when there's a meltdown, there's a complete meltdown, and that was the second time you think that he'd knock it down the wing, um, because that's normally what you try and do for defensive um, sidelines, knock them down the wing, uh, put them into the corners, but of course, can he have nobody down in that right corner, so maybe Tommy was trying to put it across to the midfield and miscued twice, and uh, set up two scores for Galway. It's a free in for Kilkenny. Just on the D there, Henry Shefflin going to gather it. At this stage... Judging by the body language, it looks like he's just going to take his point. That's exactly what he does. 32 minutes gone. Two points from a free for Henry Shefflin. One point from play by Richie Powell. Who could have predicted this? Well, this is a crucial time now, Marty. Three or four minutes before half-time, so it is for Galway to keep uh, their challenge going. Uh, keep using the ball as they are and keep running at the Kilkenny defence and really they've got their plans right. You'd have to, uh, you know, Anthony Cunningham has to come in for a great praise because they really have their matchups gone very, very well up in the forward line and they're leaving Joe inside by himself or they're leaving Cyril Donnell inside, one forward inside and one and one to Kilkenny and it's really causing major uh, problems for the defence. Oh, Tommy, Tommy Walsh, Walsh trying to <laughs> <laughs> It must have been the hurley try number three. <laughs> And the referee is going to give a throw ball here because he missed it. There was a fresh air there. Still comes to Kilkenny. Johnny Cohn sends it down the wing. And again, it's a sideline ball. Andy Smith unable to control it. But you'd have to question Kilkenny's tactics, Marky. Three or four balls that have got to hit straight into the right corner where they have no corner forward. Johnny Cohn is over there operating as a free man. And they've hit three or four balls straight down to him. You think that they try and operate over to the left to Richie Hogan or straight into the Henry Shefflin? Kenny and Buckley's uh, sideline ball came to Richie Power, but he loses possession. Gets up on his feet and takes it. And he fouls the goal man. Referee James McGrath is pointing to Richie Power for that challenge. And it is a free for Galway. 33 minutes of action that, to be honest with you, we didn't really expect. Because Galway, having lost so heavily, to Kilkenny in the league, torpedoed by 25 points, nine points in the Walsh Cup. But this was always the target. And Brian Cody must be a concerned man at this stage. It's not often we see this happen. 2-12 to three points. And Kilkenny beaten. Particularly around midfield, Galway dominant in the half-back line. And Johnny Cohn, very vigilant. Good work here by Kevin Hines. Not a natural fullback, but doing well. But losing out this time to Richie Parr. Tony Ree, O'Gregan, high challenge on the full forward from Carrick Shock. And that is a free in for Kilkenny. Well, Kevin Hines had it originally and should have done a little bit better, maybe. Um, tried, to, tried to place it outside and lost it. And then uh, a foul on uh, Richie Parr. So, you know, Kilkenny will have to get... Uh, you know, keep tapping the ball over the bar and try and uh, hope then that they'll get a goal. But they put no pressure whatsoever on Kevin Hines, who's a you know a converted fullback at the best. Henry Shufflin taps it over the bar for his third, and Kilkenny's fourth. Yeah, and incredibly, uh, Marty, as we come up to half time, Kilkenny have one point from play. That's a point from Richie Power. 
So that's a stat that you don't normally see. Puck out by James Scal. From Capitag. Saw him play under 21, hurling over the last number of years, and it was really outstanding, particularly in All Ireland semi final against Clare two or three years ago. Ball breaks out, Powers, Richie Doyle. It's two against one, but the one is Henry Sheffield. Ball breaks free, and again it's Johnny Cole. Outside him was Niall Dunno, but he goes for distance. Slips off the fingertips of Cyril Donlan. Cyril acknowledges that the pass was good, but he had made a miss of it. One minute of additional time in this first half. And again, it's Johnny Cole. Takes his eye off it this time, David Collins recovers. What a point he scored in this first half. The right corner back from half back. Michael Rice getting on the ball, laying it off versus Captain Owen Larkin, trying to get inside the cover of Collins. It's Larkin, hand passing an inside, great ball. There's danger here for Galway, and a chance for Kilkenny, and the goalkeeper comes charging out. It's Scal, he's a big man. Six foot five, he stood on the ground, that's the man from Capitagal. And again there is the clenched fist, and the save by James Scal signals the half-time whistle being blown by the referee from Westmead, James McGrath. Brian Cody will be happy to get his team into the dress room at half-time because a goal by Joe Canning after two and a half minutes, another goal by David Burke after 22, gives Galway a substantial lead. It's a serious problem for the All-Ireland champions. Galway, 2-12, Kilkenny, four points. Also text to 57111 or call the number on screen. Welcome back to the second half, and straight from the throw-in, it is Cyril Donlan that gets his fourth point of the game. Remarkable stuff, and it is so important that from a Galway perspective, when you're playing this great Kilkenny team, who are in trouble, no doubt, that uh, you maintain your concentration. A point at the start of the second half, huge psychological boost. Yeah, great score, because you want to start as you finish, Marty, and um, Cyril Donlan, excellent. He's having a great uh, season, uh, very, very good and very impressive against uh, Offaly the last day. And he's playing out left half forward now, and he's being marked by Paul Murphy, who's normally a cornerback, because Kilkenny have five backs, and um, uh, that, that creates enormous space for, for Galway and give them a huge advantage. Going to take the sideline, cut is David Collins. Young player of the year back in 2005. In his seventh championship season. Just getting a little touch there was uh, Richie Doyle. The umpire is adamant that that went off the Galway man last. Protests a little bit weak from Connor Cooney. Decision stands. It's a puck out for David Herity. Yeah, Martin, just looking on at Kilkenny, a bit of confusion in the defence. Tommy Walsh came over to Marshall Donnellan and Paul Murphy uh, pushed him away to the left-hand side and he's gone out now to try and mark David Burke in the left-hand back position. And uh, James O'Grady, I think, has given it a, a 65. And the referee has actually overruled his umpire down at that uh, Hill 16 end. Tom McNicholas and Johnny Fitzpatrick are uh, down there. And the referee felt that the right decision was a 65 to his credit. So this is a chance for Joe Canning, who scored a goal and five points in the first half. Cracking goal after just two and a half minutes. Hits it, but it's tailing left and wide. That is only Galway's fifth wide of the game. They had just four in the first half. Everything was going over. And as the lads were saying at halftime in the analysis, Donald mentioned here as well about meltdown. Surely Henry Sheffield was being held back. Eventually there's a free given to Henry Sheffield. But to be honest with you, I can concur with Henry's thoughts. It was a clear foul. Look at the holding there by Kevin Hines. Uh, referee finally giving the decision to the black and amber. Yeah, that's only just that's the second puck out that David Hurry has hit straight down there. Like a yellow card for uh, Kevin Hines, but that's the second puck out that he's hit straight down towards Chefflin. Chefflin won the first one in the first half, and he's won the second one as well here now. So maybe that will be the tactic for Kilkenny in the second half. Goal, my man, on the line. Henry Chefflin standing over the ball. Taking his point, his fourth of the match. 
trying to encourage and inspire his colleagues further out the field. And remember now, and it's important to note, that Henry Shefflin has gone in full forward. Kevin Hines, the Galway full back, is now on a yellow card. So now whether or not Anthony Cunningham may decide to change things around or just hope that Kevin Hines doesn't foul for a second time. Loose ball picked up by Michael Rice. Hand pass intercepted clearly by Joe Cannon. Back there again is Jackie Terrell. Head down, ball in hand. Sideline ball given to Galway. And once again, it's Joe Cannon. Yeah, and Galway have been very, very forceful. They're not allowing the Kilkenny defenders out as easy as they normally get. And uh, Jackie Turl, they've targeted him particularly and um, you know, forcing him out there. And a uh, good sideline one by uh, and Joe Kenny. Um, probably go for this one now. He had a short one the first one, the first half. Um, could go for this and they stick it over the bar. It'll be a huge psychological blow for Kilkenny if he gets it. Twice an All Ireland minor medalist. Twice oh. an under 21 All Ireland medalist. This one is wide again. Six wides for Galway. Just to the left. Loose ball. Johnny Cohn puts in the hurl. Center half forward is TJ Reid. Breaking ball comes out. Knocked off a Galway man. Picked up by Niall Dinner. Till Bacanty. The Bacanty man fouled the possession. And that's going to be a free for Kilkenny. Yeah, three times Martin Galway we want to be careful here now that they don't give away a freeze and that they don't turn over possession that sideline talk went wide and um, you know bit by bit if you entice Kilkenny and uh, you invite them on no better team to come on and all you need is a goal or two and you know maybe questions will be asked and um, you know a little bit of doubts coming to Galway play and that will all suit Kilkenny three taken by Paul Murphy Galway come away with it with Andy Smith Laying it up, Farris Cyril Dunn scored four wonderful points in the first half. Sweeps it over towards Damian Hayes, who carried a little bit too much strength. Hayes gets there, it's a straight pull, but back there is Tommy Walsh, unmarked. Has the time and the composure to drive it long. Given a bit of verbal abuse by a colleague, he should have gone short. It's not often you have that happen in a match that somebody goes out to Tommy. Once again, it's Michael Rutz survives the initial challenge, uses the short grip, sends a ball in, and that is going over the bar. Michael Rice, is he the man to show them the way back into the game? Yeah, fine score by Michael Rice there, you know, a very forceful player, and uh, obviously himself and uh, Michael Fenley are the top choice to Kenny midfielders, and Michael Fenley has been lost, his loss has been felt in a big way today. Puck out by James Scahill. Loose ball picked up this time by Killian Buckley. Played it left half forward in the league final. Batted away. Good call by Richie Doyle. Sends it out to the wing. A race for possession. War. It's Collins. Goes back to sweep up. Goes back first to centre half back Tony O'Gregan. Comes for his centre half forward Niall Buck. Two good points so far in this championship. A lovely diagonal ball. Two port on the lads going for it. And it's Canning. Smith is outside. Canning looks around. He floats one in. And it's a very dangerous ball cut out this time by Tommy Walsh. As Canning tried to create an opportunity for his club and county mate, Damien Hayes. Johnny Cole. Beaten on this occasion by the Kilkenny captain. It's in fact Aidan Fogarty. Fogarty. Johnny Cohn goes back to track. And it's out over the sideline, sideline ball for Galway. Well, I think if we look at the last bit of play there, a beautiful ball across the field for Joe Canning. I think Joe would have been better advised just to knock it over the bar, you know. Every little nail in the coffin is important, and every every little miss by Galway now gives Kilkenny an extra little bit of heart. Loose ball again, Rice, shouldered off it by Damien Hayes. Galway with possession. Sending it low as the goal scorer, David Burke. Andy Smith, a little bit too fancy. Easily put out by Brian Hogan. There's a little bit of afters between Hogan and David Burke, but they continue on. Down at the other end, it's Henry Shuffman battling hard. Fergal Moore is there, and it is Tony O'Gregan. Charging forward in the middle of the field. I haven't actually ever seen Regan do this. Great work by the centre-back, and TJ Reid dispossesses it. Sends it low along the surface towards Richie Powell. Good work by Owen Larkin. It's Larkin with a little bit of help coming 
from TJ Reid. Good work by the captain, showing a little bit of inspiration. Has to go back to try and maintain possession. Little step inside from Killian Buckley. Floats one in high. Two against two. Power at the end of it. 